With your hosting account set up, now we are ready to install WordPress. If you go to your browser and type in your domain name, you're going to come to a screen that will look something like this, depending on where you've registered your domain name. So obviously we need to do some work to get your website set up. Now if you've set up with HostGator, you will have received another email from them showing you where to log in and what your username and password is. It's going to take you to your cPanel screen where you can go ahead and log in. Now this is how quickly you can install WordPress. You can scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see that there's a section here called Software and Services. And within that is Quick Install. Go ahead and click that. And on the left hand side under the blog software section you'll see WordPress. Clicking WordPress it's going to bring up just a brief description of WordPress and you can click continue. Now here is where you can install WordPress. I like to uncheck enable auto upgrades. I would prefer to do that myself to make sure I have a backup of, of my website. But you can simply enter your email address here. You can include a blog title if you would like to, but if not, don't worry, you can always go back and do that later. And you can type in the username that you would like to use when you log into WordPress. I typically just go with admin, but you can put your name or anything else that you'd like to have. Again, the rest of this information you can fill out once WordPress is installed. Click install now and you'll see just how quickly this goes and that's it. WordPress is installed and you'll receive this confirmation message below congratulating you on your installation of WordPress. Next let's look at how to actually log into the WordPress dashboard to start creating your website.